everybody, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. So for today's video, I thought since the holidays are coming up and it's a lot of extra expenses um, with Christmas time and all the holidays. So I was thinking, why not give some tips on how to save some money? But before we get into it, uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends. So let's get into it. So me and my husband have tried to do things um, to help us save money. As you know, we live in an RV out on our property and we are doing this so that we can save money. Um, last year at this time we had a house but we had land but we um, wanted to do something that would help us save money and get to our goal faster. So, um, but I'm not saying that everybody should go live in an RV. I'm just saying that was like the big thing that we did. Um, but today I'm going to mention a couple of smaller things that we've done to help save money. So, let's get on to the list. So, a great way to save money would be to get rid of cable satellite, um, Netflix, Hulu, all of those types of things. We haven't had cable in, I don't even know how long. We, uh, we got rid of it and we, I honestly, we, we don't even miss it. Sometimes we want to watch a movie or something and we have movies so we'll watch a movie but we have our phones which have YouTube so I mean that's how if we need to watch something we we'll try to find it there or something but um, yeah and if you really really have to have something then I would just choose one thing if you really want to have some type of something uh, choose like Netflix or something like that that's cheaper um, but having like every single one that doesn't allow you to save money. Another one would be to turn off the lights in a room when you're not actually in that room. If you're in the living room, turn off the lights in the kitchen. There's no need for lights to be on in rooms that you're not in. Uh, that's just wasting electricity. And also don't blast the AC or the heater. Keep it at a comfortable um, temperature so that's another way another thing would be only buy the necessities uh, you don't need a bunch of the same thing get one thing of whatever you need or clothes wise you don't have to have a ton of different types of clothes I personally do laundry every week so I only have a small amount of clothes because even when we lived in our house I still always seem to wear the same clothes if those get ruined or get holes in them then I buy new and I replace the ones that I have been wearing I don't have to have a lot of options so that's another way to um, save some money another option would be which kind of goes along with the holidays and Christmas Set a limit. Me and my husband have done this since we've been married, actually. Um, every year, me and my husband and our son, we have $50 that we spend. That's for Christmas and then like birthdays and stuff. Set a limit. Get creative with that $50. Yes, I could easily buy Benjamin something or a toy or something that cost $50 or $40, but then he would only get one toy. So 
I am constantly looking like, oh, well, this is $20 and this is 10 and that's 10 So he would get three things. Or you say, oh, I really want to get him a movie or something and... Uh, but new a new movie is twenty dollars. So maybe choose a movie that's been out for a while, or something that may only be ten dollars, and then you could maybe get something else. So just be creative with your buying gifts, and um, start early as well. When you're able to purchase gifts early, you can get the good deal because the later you wait um, to the holiday or whatever then you're just gonna have to spend more money um, because they'll either go up on price or the, they're out of what you were wanting to get so you have to get something else or whatever so um, just start shopping early set yourself a limit and get creative with the items that you choose. Another great tip for saving money would be to be realistic. Don't plan out your month and say, oh, this is perfect. I have $10 left in my account. Um, because guess what? What happens if you splurge and you go and buy that new game that you want or something and then you're like five days out from when you get paid again and you get a flat tire like you need to be realistic with your spending so that when things come up like a flat tire or having to go to the doctor or any unexpected thing comes up that you're not in, putting yourself in a predicament um, so just be realistic with your spending another one would be to stop eating out uh, we actually don't eat out very much if at all I can't even remember the last time <laughs> that we ate out if we do it's usually like a super busy day or something but for the most part we don't eat out very much. Another one would be store brands are good. You just have to try. Um, you just have to experiment and try and see which ones are, are good and which ones aren't because we've tried some store brands before that were nasty. <laughs> And then we've tried store brands that tasted exactly like the um, the name brand. And what do you know, I'm pretty sure the name brand actually made the off brand. They just rebranded it differently. Um, but yeah, you just have to try, try things and uh, see what is good and what isn't. And I would have to say that the last tip that I have or way to save money would be to say no to credit cards. If you don't have money for that item that you're wanting to purchase, then don't buy it. Save your money and set it aside and then when you do have money, go back and get it. Um, yeah, you just end up paying for more in the long run because you have to pay interest and everything. So just no, say no to credit cards. So that is some of the ways that I feel like can help you save money. Um, and especially around the holidays, it's nice when you have extra money. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you some ideas of how you can start saving money to help you get to your goals faster. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.